wanted to bring you guys my predictions for the Reverie arc. So first of all, what will they talk about at the Reverie? Now, besides for the obvious things like Dragon and the Yoko, I do feel Luffy, Law, and Doflamingo will definitely be discussed. The Vinsmo family and Big Mom Possible Alliance will probably be discussed. And all the events of the Whole King Island arc, or at least the ones that go public, will be discussed. That is a definite. Those things must be discussed, and they're probably going to spend a lot of time on Monkey D. Luffy. Now, there also are going to be discussion at King Cobra, but King of Alabasta has said he wants to he wants the Podoglyph. He's going to talk about the Podoglyph. I think he wants to know like what's on them. He wants to know about the, he wants to know about the Void Sentry. And he's a king, so it's not as simple as you talk, you ask him the Void Sentry. We're gonna shoot you. No, it's not that simple. He's the king of Alabasta. You can't just kill him. Like that would never start a war, and that would be a whole mess of problems. So King Cobra is going to screw shit up at the Reverie. Another thing that will definitely happen is they're going to be sides. They're going to be the, they're going to be the Monkey D. Luffy needs to freaking die side and the side of I like Luffy, he's my bro. Like, I mean, for a lot of people there, Shirahoshi, King Riku, King Cobra, Rebecca, Vivi, Viola, Luffy the friend to these people. King Neptune, like, Luffy is their friend. So it is very unlikely we'll ever see a situation where they attack him. So what's most likely going to happen is they're going to get into debate. And, it's, like, Vivi will probably be like, Well, yeah, Luffy fought Crocodile. But what the hell was the, was the Navy doing? All right, nothing. Because it was their Shichibukai system that caused it. There's going to be a lot of debate between Vivi and all the people that like Luffy and the people that don't like Luffy. There's going to be a lot of alliances there. Um, I'm at the end. I want to go back to the stuff with King Cobra. Alright. I'm very interested in where the stuff with King Cobra is going to go. Because you don't just ask about the Ponoglyphs. I mean, look at what happened at, to... To Ohada. They researched the photographs and they died. If, 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 I think Cobra may straight up be like, Hey, how can you do? What, what does the photograph mean? What does it mean, man? I mean, you can't do that. He stated his desire, the desire he had is to ask. Um, another thing is a stallion going. I'm very interested in the kind of stuff we're going to get with Stally. And last time we saw him, he was just not about asshole little punk ass brother who was a spoiled little shit. Which he probably still is a spoiled little shit, maybe the noble, and almost all the nobles in One Piece are spoiled pieces of shit. So that is besides the point. So they're gonna talk about dragons, they're gonna talk about Blackbeard. Blackbeard will be a whole discussion. So we're gonna talk about Big Mom. I don't know if they'll talk about Shanks, because Shanks doesn't really do anything bad to the government. Like, Shanks, yes, is dangerous. Shanks is dangerous if provoked. Shanks rarely goes looking to screw people over. So, they're, they're probably not going to discuss Shanks much. They're probably going to be like, that red hair, yeah, he's not drinking too much of our liquor or something. Like... You know, whatever. Nothing major. Well, Blackbeard will probably be the one they discuss the most. And it will be very interesting because this will probably be where we get an update on what the hell Blackbeard has been doing. But last time we really got an indicator of what he was doing, he was hunting and gathering Della first after the time skip on Fifth Man Island. That was the worst time, last time we heard about Blackbeard and what he was doing. We got interacting with a crew member and seeing him and Luffy interact once in Dressrosa. 
but that still wasn't anything major. We don't have any real information on what Blackbeard, Marshall D. Teach, is doing. So we're definitely going to discuss him. We're probably going to discuss Wano. And we're, Wano will probably be brought up. Not much will be said about it, of course. Because we'll be going into the arc. The order is going to obviously have to be Whole Kick Island, Reverie, Wano. That's the way that's going to happen. So it's obvious that they can't obviously give too much away. But they'll probably talk if the rest of the world find out about what's happening with Kaido. They'll probably, they'll probably have some intel. I don't know. But that Wano is going to come up because it will hype us up for the Wano arc. And something's probably going to happen with Vivi, as I'm getting the vibe that Vivi's going to be our MC. The none of the straw hats are there, so we're going to need a main character, and that's probably going to be Vivi. Because when we started the setup for the Reverie, even characters like Rebecca and Shirahoshi were glanced over in favor of showing us, like, five pages of Vivi. So I'm 90% sure that the, the arc will be from Vivi's perspective. And I'm really hoping something happens that causes Vivi to become a criminal. Are you maybe Vivi's allegiance, allies, her allegiance, her friendship or whatever with the straw hat will come out. And she'll have to become a pirate and go into the new world and bump into the straw hat. Oh my god, I want Vivi to somehow come back. I love Vivi so much. She's one of my favorite characters. I want her to come back and be relevant. So that's one of the reasons I'm really hyped for Reverie. Because I really like Vivi. I really, really like Vivi. If she had stayed around, she would probably be in my top 5. She's definitely in my top 15. She's probably like my 11th favorite character. But the point is, is that... If she had stayed around, she would be in my top, like, five. So I'm really hyped to see Vivi and very excited to the arc from her perspective, most likely. And I can't think of anything else that they would discuss at the Reverie. They may discuss the Navy. They may discuss, they may discuss, I don't know. They may discuss what happened with Furitura at Dressrosa when he apologized and got on his knees. That may come up when you're like... What the hell happened? Like, the government just admitted to this. What are we going to do? That's probably going to come up. But I am very interested to see what they're going to talk about at the Reverie. What do you think will happen at the Reverie? And what do you think will be discussed? What, who, what people do you think will be brought up? And where is he the thing with Cobra going to go? I just think that's going to end up with him probably getting killed. Cobra probably going to die in this arc. If I'm being honest with you. She's probably going to die. Most likely. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like. Comment. No. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more videos. Tell me what you're affecting from the Reverie Arc in the comments down below. And above all else, guys. Have a great video. And make sure to check out my Gear 2nd, Gear 3rd, and Gear 4th Explained videos. Which I'll be linking in the outro. Have a nice day, guys.